J Drone here. What's going on, guys? We are going to take this Hubson Desire 2.0. That's not really what it's called, but that's what I'm dubbing it for a flight and just test the camera, which you see right there. Um, so this will be camera, and you can see there's a little bit of gappage around there. Um, that must have happened during shipping. I don't know. But a big thing that I'm disappointed about, I like the fact there's a toggle to turn it on and off. I like the fact that the battery looks upgraded. I like the fact that we got uh, super clears and not frosted and little nubbies for landing. I don't see an SD card spot. This is going to be a camera review. And obviously it's probably going to be a Wi-Fi camera review because there's no camera slot. So without any further ado, let's get this in the air and show you what that camera got to offer with no SD card. All right, so here we go. It's up in the air. This right here is going to be as best as you are going to get from the camera because I'm going to do what I call walking the dog. I'm going to walk the camera. I'm going to stay behind it, which will give the best um wi-fi transmission from the camera to my cell phone and that is what you're seeing that's that's the video transmission that was saved via the wi-fi feed going to the cell phone now once you get away from yourself then you have a little bit of issues which i will show that because i'm going to show the good the bad, bad and the ugly about this uh upper left you can see that it has a little bit of focus issues like kind of right behind me um it's it just seems a little bit out of focus but again it could be because we're dealing with wi-fi what i'm showing you here is the gps is holding fairly well i was uh not on the sticks there at all um but we're gonna we're gonna show you app we're gonna show you in app that way you can see a little bit of telemetry on the bottom and show you what the app looks like down on the bottom you can see height and distance um upper right in the green you can see how many satellites it's locked on to and this is the feed this this jumpiness is the video cutting in and out because again it's wi-fi and that's what the app shows and unfortunately the video that is being saved is basically the same thing as what you're seeing here we're doing a little bit of distance backpedaling um we didn't get too far we didn't get too far and that's about all the video fpv range that you can expect from this wi-fi camera why they did not keep the SD card, because this is, it's a direct clone of the Hubson Desire. Um, why they didn't keep the SD card is beyond me. Uh, the camera probably would output good, and again, I'm just holding my hands up here just to show you guys that uh, GPS does hold well. Um, but, dude, SD card. You have a good camera. Cool. Wi-Fi FPV's novelty. But to actually get great footage, we need that SD card. We're doing a little bit of a climb here. Um, and as you can see, it, dude, the, the footage is pretty good, man. It's pretty good. As we get up here, you're going to see it's frozen. And the reason it is frozen is because we've gone out of range. And we're not up high. We're 18 meters up in the sky. And then, bam, it reconnects as we come down. Um, dude. I don't get it. I don't understand why a company in uh, 2020 would not understand the benefits. And this this is just a different scene. It didn't horribly jump that far. Um, the the benefits of having an SD card. I'm sure it can't be that much for for what we pay for these Wi-Fi drones. An SD card in it, I think, is definitely doable for the price. Um, just my personal opinion. So as you can see, and again, uh, right there, that was a jump. This is not a different scene. Um, it froze up a little bit. I am near power lines. I am near uh, high Wi-Fi. My house has really strong Wi-Fi. Other houses around here have really strong Wi-Fi. And uh, right there, it kind of froze up a little bit. Um, so this, this, there, you can see it jumping, 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 jumping. Uh, and there's a capacitor there. But uh, this could be a great drone if it had an SD card because it flies well and the GPS holds well. So one thing I did notice, this arm here, you can see the wire hanging out of it. Um, that I thought was going to be really good. You are definitely still limited as far as FPV range and why they didn't put an SD card on this is beyond me. Um, also, I just tried to land it. I was holding down on that. I tried down and out, which the manual says. I tried to stop button. Um, it would not stop the motors. It wouldn't stop the motors until I actually kind of obstructed one. 
in the grass here. Um, so that's something. We're gonna try to put it back up in there because my app also did crash and I was unable to connect back to this in the air. So we're gonna do a whole restart here. We're gonna turn our controller on, turn this on, calibrate it, get it back up in the air because I really wanna showcase the camera on this. That's the whole point of this video. All right, we got to back up in there. The app is going. So if your app crashes and you need to reconnect to it and it's not reconnecting to it, you're not seeing FPV despite the fact being connected to the Wi-Fi. You're not seeing the FPV in your app. Shut everything down. Restart it. Uh, and as I noted, the landing was a little bit odd. But this is clean. Look at it. I mean, minus the skippage, that was pretty darn clean. Um, it just sucks they didn't have an SD card on this. I'm going to go ahead and show you the drone a little bit in flight here. That way you can see it in flight. All right, guys. So is this a home run? I don't think so. Could it have been? Yeah, I think so. It absolutely could have been. Um, for the simple fact, they've upgraded the lights from being crossed so they're visible. Um, the camera looks really good uh, through the app. And uh, that little wire sticking out there is just the company thinking a little bit as far as the Wi-Fi, I believe, unless that's the range for this. I mean, we really haven't range tested this at all. Uh, I'm flying with one hand here, so we'll try to uh, just take it downfield a little bit. I know I said this was going to be a uh, video review and not so much about the drone in flight. I don't know how well you guys can see that. We're going to go up a little bit. There, you should be able to see that. We're gonna go forward. So that actually might be the remotes range, unless I just hit a geo fence because now it's uh, ooh, doo, doo, doo. let's see. <laughs> I think we hit a geo fence, and I'm going to try to fly this back to me again. I'm using one hand here, so I'm recording with my other hand. I don't know if there's a geofence on this or not, but I mean, we'll go ahead and get this off the road because somebody's coming, which has been an occurrence since I've had this out. Flying with one hand is a little bit challenging. I don't know. Um, it's definitely a decent backyard flyer. That's all I'm going to say about it. I haven't looked at the footage from the camera because I'm still recording. The drone's still in the air. Um, guys, if you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Link for this will be down below. Um, questions, comments, concerns, put it down below. PayPal link down below. Show some love for uh, show some love for the channel here and everything that I do. Try to keep you all entertained, informed. And I'll catch you on the next video. Later.